representing Lobo MMA in Guadalajara. Here is Alexa Grasso, the Mexican phenom, one of the youngest women on this UFC roster. But when you look at the credentials, age doesn't matter. She's had some injuries in the past, but when Alexa Grasso has been healthy, she has been one of the best strawweights in the world. Brazilian jiu-jitsu, blue belt, but an outstanding striker. Three of her four knockout wins in 36 seconds or less. Not the fight during which to get a cold one. Alexa Grasso back under the fight. This girl has a ridiculous chin. Her ability to take punishment is the stuff of legends. I have seen her take bombs and barely wins. She presses forward, and because of the fact that she has this incredible chin, she is able to stay in the pocket and land strikes on her opponent that maybe other fighters would never be able to get off. This girl has amazing blocking technique. She can stand right in front of you, and you just can't hit her cleanly. She has such a huge advantage in that, and knowing that she has the ability to block and parry all of the different techniques that are coming her way. for this strawweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, two losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Alexa Grasso! And now introducing our opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 16 wins, four losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Gloria! And when the action begins, our referee in card, he'll The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? Ready? Here we go. All right, so here she is, Cloud Gadelia, as we get ready to go with round one. She's been a fast starter in the UFC. Most of her fights have gone the distance. Cardio for days. She'll be shooting for that takedown here early. Nice punch by Gadelia. Oh, powerful right leg kick. All right, first round is underway. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range with those vaunted, powerful overhand punches. Obviously, it's a big part of her repertoire, and more often than not in the UFC, even when opponents have known it has been coming, oh, they have been unable to stop. Oh, what a leg kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Grasso. Looking to avoid that left hand. This is a this is a bit of a chest battle here. Excellent movement here on the ground. And now she's got full mount. Into full guard. Nice reversal. Tries to get out of full guard and into half, but doesn't make it. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. She's working from half guard. Into the full guards. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Grosso. She's now transitioned to full guard. Looking to secure a choke. She's got that guillotine locked up. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Any second now. And, and there it is. Got caught in the choke, didn't want to tap, and went to sleep. Yeah, so how about that, Joe? She goes to sleep, and you've got to admire her toughness for not wanting to tap out. 
but she just couldn't deal with the grappling acumen of her opponent here tonight. A beautiful setup and an even better display of technique to ultimately get the finish and put her opponent out for good. And as we can see from this other angle, she doesn't even get a chance to tap before she's out. And one last time, excellent technique on that choke for the submission victory. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, one second of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Claudia Gadelia! All right, so congratulations to Claudia Gadelia proving yet again to be the class of this 115-pound division. She has plus skills in every phase of the game, and her striking is really starting to catch up to her offensive wrestling game. And when Gadelia is on, as she was here tonight, best of luck to her fellow strawweight contenders.